How predictable. Mortgage crisis, print money. Economic uh, recession, print money. Mm. Political problems, print money. Putin, print money. Budget spending, print more money. It's an addiction. It's spiraling out of control. How is all this printed money? And all of this future, tens of trillions of dollars of printed money, what's it going to do to your nest egg? And how do you protect it? This is the Gold Standard from Midas Gold Group with Kenneth Russo. Hello, I'm Dave Dino. Welcome to the Gold Standard. This is your source for secure investment opinion and information on the advantages of purchasing and owning precious metals. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced collector, this is the program that gives you a realistic weekly perspective on the state of the economy, reliable information about using precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum to safeguard your wealth, and remarkable details about specific precious metal coins and bullion. Ken Russo is a senior vice president at Midas Gold Group. His peers characterize him as a straight shooter who will work harder for you than anyone else. And today, we are joined by Midas Gold Group senior trader and Marine Corps veteran, James Clark. First of all, Ken, welcome. Good to be with you. Nice to be with you as always today, Dave. And James, I got to tell you, it is a special privilege to have you with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. Today, we are going to hold a wealth summit. And here at the beginning of the program, we usually reflect on the news of the day. It gives us a perspective on the economy and how it can affect our personal finances. Ken, let's begin with you. This week, I'm seeing a lot of articles about the public losing confidence in the current administration's ability to fight inflation and the possibility of a coming recession. As a matter of fact, we just saw a report that we are now up to 8.5% inflation over the previous year, and that, again, is a new record for 40 years. Now, along with those Others that write about preparing for a downturn in the economy are also sounding the alarm. Are you seeing these two? Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't uh, anyone have uh, no confidence in the current administration? I mean, what have they been able to really do correctly? But this is not a uh, talk show about that. But um, inflation's at a 41-year high. So there's many, many things that are going on right now. And don't forget, the premise is this, Dave. We are on the last stage and the last legs of the financial system as we know it. The question is, how do you protect what you have worked so hard for you know, up to this point? How do you protect your purchasing power in an inflationary environment, which quite frankly is not temporary, not transitory, not going away, spiraling out of control, and no one really knows in leadership what to do about it? So... That's the real situation. And James, I've got a question for you. It is a special privilege to have you with us, as I said before. We were visiting with some friends uh, just, the, uh, just over the weekend and earlier this week, and they, one of them was involved in the startup of a business, a very successful business uh, years ago. The other worked within the uh, tech sector very uh, successfully. And we were talking about the fact that we are not going to go back to business as it used to be. Commercial real estate is suffering terribly because COVID proved that people could work remotely as well, if not even better, than they did uh, in the office more productively. So there is no going back to the old normal. We are now establishing a new normal in in your role as a senior trader are you seeing that with the people that you talk with well i mean last time i was on the show i know we talked about um afghanistan because i served uh some time over in afghanistan and mm -hmm. we and you know one thing i mentioned was i believe that a lot of the botch withdrawal there was intentional and I believe when you look at uh, the inflation numbers we're seeing, you remember first we were told that massive spending wasn't going to cause inflation. And we were told mm -hmm. inflation was going to be transitory. Mm -hmm. and, and last year we tried to sound the alarm bell. You know, we told anybody that would listen, this is not transitory. Um, it, this, is, this is real. And now just today, um, as we record this show, 
Um, we see the highest inflation number since 1981. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so to me, this is this is an intentional uh, dismantling of our financial system as we know it. Perhaps perhaps a wealth grab by the elite. But yes, I would say if you have trusted in the traditional financial system, particularly if you've trusted in the ideas of of save your money, put it aside, put it in a CD, buy treasuries, I, that thinking has to has to evolve to the reality of what's going on with our currency. And I, I, no, I don't think we're going back to the way the, the economy was um, even three years ago. A reminder here, you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from the Midas Gold Group, and we're joined today by Midas Gold senior trader James Clark. And today we're holding a wealth summit. And Ken, you recently participated in a wealth summit as an invited guest expert on preserving and growing wealth. What did you have to say about the role of gold and other precious metals? It was basically... um the need for every single investor, you know, a call uh, to protect their nest egg and to diversify their paper assets, you know, with physical precious metals that may be gold uh, bars and coins, silver bars and coins, platinum, and even palladium. Uh, That includes, you know, cash reserves, um, non-qualified accounts, and also IRAs, Mm. you know, and uh, previous 401ks or uh, 457 plans or TSPs. So, you know, financial privacy, Dave, has never been more important than, than today in our history. Uh, wealth preservation is extremely important. You know, you heard James say it's just an, a, you know, an, a, an attempt to uh, to discredit our currency. You know, and, and listen, for everybody who's uh, listening to today's show, the U.S. dollar is losing its grip on world reserve currency status. The United States, unfortunately, and it pains us as a veteran-owned company to say this, and just as proud Americans, is headed in the wrong direction, you know, in every single possible way. And that's disturbing. But today we're talking about our uh, our money and uh, our fiat currency system, you know, is based on paper, Federal Reserve notes, Dave. Remember, this is not even called coin or U.S. notes anymore, Federal Reserve notes. It's no longer backed by any commodity or any asset. It used to be backed you know, by physical gold all the way up to 1971. Mm-hmm. And the dollar was removed from the uh, gold standard uh, temporarily for the benefit <laughs> of the of the dollar, Dave. And believe it or not, you know, the dollar has bought less every every single year following mm-hmm. that. You know, the debt situation here in the United States is, is basically spiraling out of control. And so is the debt, you know, in the entire uh, global situation, you know, and that's a real problem because, you know, money printing has gone global. Not only are the central bankers here in the United States just abusing the privilege to to print money, they, you know, the whole world is doing it. So um, the banking system is, as we all know, is going digital. Now, are they going to call this a central uh, bank digital currency? Are they going to call it a central government currency? Uh, You know, digital currency? I don't know. But either way, they're not going to know how to run it efficiently. And, um, you know, financial privacy gone you know, financial freedoms, whatever we have left gone. So there's still time, you know, the best time to buy gold was 20 years ago. And I would say if you didn't make that move, uh, today's a good option. And, um, you know, let's look for some privacy. Let's look for some diversification. Let's look for some ways so that we can survive the next financial crisis. And um, with leadership and reckless spending and reckless money printing, that financial crisis is quickly approaching. So in that Wealth Summit, what was the solution offered? Well, to definitely diversify. Mm-hmm. You know, I pointed out that if you are, Dave, in a, in a fortunate position to have wealth, you know, whether that be through trading or investing or good business uh, savvy, or maybe you inherited money, or maybe you're just lucky, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, what could we do today? And it makes sense to diversify a portion of that wealth, paper wealth, into physical gold and silver, you know, that you could hold on to outside of the banking system, outside of the overvalued volatile markets, stocks, you know, we're not financial advisors, we don't give financial advice, but I think stocks are cracking. It seems to me that the markets are, uh, are uh, over from a, from a high point um, of, you know, at the end of last year. And to me, it looks like we're in the midst of a severe stock correction or possibly severe bear market where heavy drawdown is is probably expected real estate you know geez you know i don't know how many people come in every day and say boy i can't i can't afford anything this is 
so overvalued due to low interest rates. So pretty good signs that, you know, real estate is pretty much fully or overvalued. Now, if we talk about those big markets, stocks, bonds, and even real estate as being the biggest bubble in history, what, what happens to your wealth when that bursts? So the way that you can take control of some of your wealth and, um, you know, and uh, protect it is get it in your own possession. And what's one product that's always, like James said, stood the test of time. It's held its value, keeps its purchasing power. And um, in up markets and in down markets, it'll be there when you need it. It's still undervalued. It, great, it offers a great opportunity for wealth preservation. And to the listeners out there who don't already know, gold coins, gold bars, silver coins, silver bars, different precious metals in your own possession to protect your own wealth and your retirement accounts. This is a real wake-up call and a reminder here that you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo and James Clark from Midas Gold Group. And today we're holding a wealth summit. And I have more questions coming up, but first in a few moments, we're going to take a look at a specific gold product that you can add to secure your wealth. And that's coming up right after this. I'm here with Midas Gold Group's senior trader and Marine Corps veteran, James Clark. James, why are people investing in gold and silver? Well, Dr. Gorka, the Federal Reserve supplies money to pay for congressional spending. As Congress expands spending, the Fed has no choice but to keep printing money at an accelerated rate. This causes the dollar to fall and gold to increase. So as the Fed and Congress devalue the dollar, what can people do? As the nation's number one veteran-owned precious metals dealer, we offer diversification strategies in the form of precious metals. As Congress looks to the Fed for more money, investors look to gold and silver to protect their nest egg. And I recommend that you look to Midas Gold Group for all your precious metal needs. Call Midas Gold Group for their guide to owning bullion and coins today. 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-4653 or MidasGoldGroup.com. And we're back with more of the Gold Standard brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino. And our topic today is a wealth summit. By the way, if you live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, we encourage you to visit our local office to meet with us in person. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, 855-322-4653. Ken, now we turn to look at a specific gold product, and today let's look at a tried and true staple of owning gold. It is a one-ounce bar of pure gold, gold bullion. What have you got for us? Well, Dave, I have a very beautiful one-ounce gold bullion bar before me today. It's from the Royal Canadian Mint. It's 24 karat gold, uh, four nines pure, 0.9999, pure gold. It's delivered in a seal to say certificate for authenticity. You, you, you may know something about these bars, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I've got a couple of them. And I got to say, they are very, very impressive when you look at them, especially for the very first time. Can you give us maybe a word picture then of what you and I are both looking at so our listeners, they can see it in their mind's eye? Yeah, sure, Dave. Uh, the Royal Canadian Mint One Ounce Gold Bar, it's made by a government entity which um, does give it some uh, credence versus maybe a privately minted bar. Very rare to uh, be able to own government minted bars. Not as hard to own government minted coins, if we, mm. as we've talked about for you know weeks and months and uh, years uh, about those. But the gold bar features the seal, Dave, of the Royal Canadian Mint on the front. Mm -hmm. It's stamped 0.9999 fine gold. And each bar has its own unique serial number. Mm. So when you turn it over... Uh, the backside is stamped with a series of maple leaves, you know, uh, which is a iconic Canadian national symbol. It's a very high quality bar, Dave, as you have uh, seen it for yourself. And, um, you know, to, to hold some of your wealth in your own possession when the banking market is so risky and the stock market is so volatile, that offers true wealth preservation. You remember, Dave, our, our saying, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. Mm -hmm. So. We don't want paper gold. We don't want mining share gold. We don't want ETF gold. We want the actual bars and coins that clients could uh, diversify outside of the banking system in their own possession 
And the Royal Canadian Mint one ounce gold bullion bar is definitely a great product to uh, to consider. Yeah, it's gold you can hold, as I like to say. Ken, Midas Gold Group offers both gold coins as well as gold bullion bars. Why would a person opt to own some bars like these instead of gold coins? Well, they're both good, Dave, but we just feel that it's good to have a, uh, a diversified uh, metals portfolio within precious metals. You know, it's it's good to consider gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. And within gold, you know, you have your gold bullion bar market. You have your gold bullion coins. You know, many people consider bullion just bars, but coins are bullion too because they're based on weight and purity mm-hmm. uh, of the gold. And then you have the numismatic gold coins, you know, the ones that were made before 1933. Mm. The most popular ones being the St. Gaudens, the Liberty, and the Indian. Mm -hmm. So um, it's good to have diversification within your portfolio overall, but it's also good to have diversification within your precious metals, even within gold itself. So bars uh, has a um, purpose, coins have a purpose, different collectible coins have a purpose, I would urge people to uh, consider diversification, even within their gold. Ken, thank you so much. Coming up in a moment, we're going to continue our Wealth Summit with Ken Russo and James Clark from Midas Gold Group. And that's coming up right after this. Dr. Sebastian Gorka here. Part of the so-called Great Reset from the multinational elite is to enact a digital wallet currency. Think of the implications. Time to create your own gold standard with a call to the dealer I do business with, veteran-owned Midas Gold Group, the America First precious metals experts who can help you with IRAs and more. Get your portfolio reset with gold and silver. Call Midas Gold Group for their guide to owning bullion and coins today. 855-322-GOLD. That's 855 855- 322-4653 or MidasGoldGroup.com. And we're back with more of the Gold Standard brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino, and our topic today is a wealth summit. By the way, if you live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, you can actually come by and visit with us at our local office to meet with us in person. For the address and the direction, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com. M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. Buy the numbers 855-322-4653. Now, back to our Wealth Summit. Ken, printing money seems to be the administration's answer to our economic problems. Yeah. And, uh, you know, how predictable mortgage crisis, print money, economic uh, recession, print money, Mm. political problems, print money, Putin, print money, budget spending, print more money. It's an addiction. It's spiraling out of control. How is all this printed money and all of this future tens of trillions of dollars of printed money? What's it going to do to your nest egg and how do you protect it? James. We're holding a Wealth Summit, and I've got a series of rapid-fire questions for you here on our time together. And I think you're uniquely qualified to answer these questions because of your position as a senior trader. So first, is gold affordable? Uh, Absolutely. Gold is a currency, just like any other currency. Yes, the exchange rates change between currency, but I would say gold as a hard currency is something you can't afford to not have in your portfolio. What ways can people own gold? People can come in, they can buy it directly, take possession of it privately. Uh, They can also use an existing IRA uh, to own gold. That's been legal since the 80s um, under the Taxpayer Relief Act. Um, And they can also use an old 401k that can be rolled into an IRA Mm -hmm. uh, with no tax consequences. Is it a good idea to protect then a significant portion of my paper assets with tangible gold? For most people, um, you know, people need to make their own conclusions when it comes to their money. This isn't something your financial advisor is likely going to tell you to do. Um, So I think most people that look at the economic situation believe it makes sense and believe that's a smart move. James, thank you so much for joining us today in our Wealth Summit. You have been a real uh, help to us. Thank you. My pleasure. Finally, now, I want to, Ken, come back to you and ask you this question. What happens when a person calls you? at Midas Gold Group. How do you work with them so they can make an informed decision? Well, that's important, Dave. I mean, first of all, if you have the privilege and the advantage to talk to a, uh, 
a precious metals dealer, either in person or over the telephone. I mean, uh, that's a huge advantage in, in today's market. Obviously, um, attention, personal attention is very important. Knowing your client, you know, what's bothering them, who are they leaving their money to, age, size of the nest egg. I mean, all of this stuff helps us make an informed decision, Mm -hmm. which in turn will allow them to make an informed decision, you know, through education and through uh, information and through uh, knowledge, they could make a better decision. So um, obviously we're not an expert on everything, Dave, but we are uh, when it comes to a gold or silver specialist. So if somebody has questions about diversification through physical gold, physical silver, platinum, either in their own own possession, protecting an IRA or different types of retirement accounts. That's what we specialize in. And we understand that everyone's different. But when a person calls, they are going to get that attention. We will invest our time in people. Obviously, we want to do business. But if you can find somebody that will take the time and inform you on what your options are, you know, you're going to be better prepared for the future. And that's what I would urge people to do today. You talk about making an informed decision. It involves partly uh, what I actually want to do with the gold and silver uh, that I am collecting from Midas Gold Group. And I have to tell you that uh, in my collection that I have from you, uh, in looking at our family will and our family uh, trust, there are a few specific pieces that I am passing on to members of my family as a legacy. People do that as well, right? Yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, you've made your situation more bulletproof, Mm. you know, uh, and something happens to you, your wife knows who to call. Um, Mm -hmm. Something happens to you and your wife, um, your kids know who to call. Mm -hmm. Um, It's there. It's, It's outside of the banking system. They can get their hands on it. If you need you know, if you if you run into a pinch and you need money, you know who to call if you need to sell some. So you have a full service precious metals relationship um, at your disposal. And there's no reason that why every single person who's listening to this program right now can at least explore uh, the same option. So it's good to have options. And believe me, Dave, when we uh, go forward and when all of this stuff starts to come apart you hear what what james said about inflation and and debt and all this other stuff and currencies that's what we've been talking about for a long time it's not made up it's not conspiracy the central bankers and the politicians of this world have abused their right to handle the monetary system and policy and they've done an awful job And it doesn't mean that you have to lose all of your money because of the job that they've done. You can protect some of it. You can diversify some of it. You can preserve some of it. And if you want to do it with Midas Gold Group, we're honored and privileged. But that's what people need to start doing. And if they haven't already done it, they should be doing it today. And if they've already done it, they should be thinking about adding to it. It's that important. All it takes to look into this even further is a phone call to the Midas Gold Group. And that is why, my friends, I own gold from Midas Gold Group. That is going to bring us to the end of our time today here on The Gold Standard with Ken Russo, brought to you by Midas Gold Group. A reminder, opinions given here are not intended to be specific to your investment strategy, but rather general information to give you a better understanding of investing in precious metals. For answers to your questions, call Midas Gold Group at 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers 855-322-4653. And the website is MidasGoldGroup.com. M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. The Midas Gold Group, as Ken mentioned earlier, is proud to be America's number one veteran-owned gold dealer, supporting veterans' causes with a portion of profits donated to the Wounded Warriors Project and the Semper Fi Fund. So your investment in your future is also an investment in the future of those who have bravely served the cause of freedom. Again, the number to call to speak directly with Midas Gold Group is 855 322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. Ken, 
Thank you so much for your time again today. Yeah. Hi, Dave. I really enjoyed our uh, conversation today. Thank you to uh, you and, and thanks to James. I'm Dave Dino, and I hope you'll come and join us again next week at the same time for another edition of The Gold Standard. The Gold Standard was brought to you by the Midas Gold Group.